Hey friends, let's uh, start off this intro video a little bit differently. Um, hello. So as you might see, sorry with light, um, our videos are rendering for this week. So I thought I would try a little bit of efficiency and uh, render them. And then I'm like, oh, my video software is there, but here I have Zoom. So I mean, let me know um, via email the discussion board down below if you're on YouTube, if you prefer seeing the screen and seeing what I'm talking about. Or if you don't mind seeing my face talking about things. So but be nice. Be nice out there. Uh, all right. So this week, I really want to talk about two items. Uh, one is the results from adoptive test uh, from adoptive practice last Friday. And the other one is the winners of the contest. What contest? Well, at the end of one of the videos, again, sorry, I'll try to <laughs> be in the way. Uh, I took the, the curtains off because anyways, I just like to have some natural light. Anywho, okay. Um, at the end of one of the videos last week, I said, hey, uh, let's have a contest similar to what I would do in class. Um, here are the different types of journal entries, four different types for our prepaids and our deferred revenues. Come up with your best creative, uh, communication, and content-wise. Those are the three items that you'll be um, assessed at. And hey, if you want to play it, post your question uh, to the discussion board. So you kind of, the answer was these different types of journal entries. Post your question. And people, those who came to play, uh, thank you for showing up. Uh, you did wonderful. Uh, so I'm just going to switch my screen, you won't be able to see it, but um, we have a number of honorable mentions, uh, including, I'd love to you know, give a shout out to the student whose initials are CL. Uh, I do love myself some sweet treats. Same thing with SQ. I thought your deferred revenues with AC uh, or Canada from Toronto to Boston was wonderful. Uh, same thing RB with Darlene's Donuts and um, Tyler. I literally um, LOL'd because I felt like your, <laughs> your example was like on point and very timely. Same thing, uh, DP, um, love me, uh, the dog grooming. Um, I thought that all of these, myself and my team, thought that all of these examples were uh, really, really well thought out. So drum roll. Uh, the winners are... And this was a uh, consensus by one of my team members and myself, the winners for us content, creativity, and communication were Tristan, Saron, and Tuan. Um, and so the uh, initials TB, SD, and TNB. So thank you so, so much for coming out. Um, we got to see the 50 Cent, not just a famous rapper, but who knew? He also owned uh, a candy shop and he did um, bump up candies from five cents to 50 cents. I love the integration there. Um, and I know that my team member did as well. Uh, not only integration with the content, but there was a lot of like a sly, uh, sly content and weaving throughout there. So awesome, awesome work. Um, same thing. Uh, we got to see that Eminem hired Eminem. Uh, you know, again, if you can joke and you can play around in accounting, uh, you're showing mastery and uh, love, love, love it. And uh, as for the last one, uh, you know, we got some pop culture. We got our Travis uh, Kels. Uh, I've seen this all over the news, like who makes it? But so if it's, um, I hope I'm saying Kels right. And uh, T Swift and their pizza place, a Swift slice of Zop. So all points are. All examples were on point, all were great content, creative, and um, communicated well. So no songs and dances, but but really, really, really well done. So I will be sending you an email just to reply back and let me know which $20 gift card would you like. Last time students picked uh, Starbucks or Tim Hortons. So anything that is kind of up and up and something I can send you via uh, the email, we will do that. All right. So my last matter for today, last big one, are grades. So last Friday was your chapter four adoptive assignment. And I'd like to share the stat statistics. Still super high. So 172 participated. And of those who participated, the average was 96%. And with the most people, and you'll see the little snippet on the news post that I um, post out. Most people earned 100%. So if you got 80 above, you're bumped up to um. 100%. One person got, it looks right around 65. And then one person, one or two people um, didn't, it looks like didn't finish or didn't start. So one or two people were down at 0%. Because again, you have to score 50%. Otherwise you are brought, brought back. 
Again, this is a grade that reflects effort, not necessarily results-based. If you need more practice on an item, it will indicate that you need more practice. Which brings me to, I know I said two, but our last item is the test this Friday. Our test this Friday is going to be on chapters three and four. So not on the new material that you are going to be learning the merchandising operations this week. Uh, as such, our team and I talked last week. We have bi-weekly meetings, and we talked about having our live Q&A questions follow a week behind, so be on a week behind the content, but be in line with the tutorials. So if you want to have a bit more practice on something that will be on the test this Friday, and or stick around and talk with, it's Angela this week, please stick around, use that time if you'd like, um, and if not, all good. We still have office hours uh, via the link and we have the discussion board. So if you want to talk to us, we are here for you. Have a wonderful day, week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.